learn physics. So, in my previous two videos, uh, the viewers' suggestions which I got us about my sound. Quality of sound should be increased a little bit. Like that one comment I got. So, I tried in this video, I am trying my maximum to improve the sound quality. Okay? Fine. So, then in today, we are starting with the chapter with the portion resistance. Okay? Last video, what we did? Remembering? Yes. Potential difference and Ohm's law. We stated Ohm's law in the last session, last video, last portion, we stopped where, where we stopped it is in Ohm's law, statement of Ohm's law. What was statement of Ohm's law? When potential difference increases, that is potential difference between the ends of a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it, provided the temperature remains constant. That was Ohm's law. Is it? From Ohm's law, we mathematically wrote it as V is proportional to R. From Ohm's law. V is proportional to I. So V equals I into R. This is R is proportionality constant in this expression. Isn't it? This is the mathematical representation for Ohm's law. That is V is proportional to I. So V equals I into R. That is the uh, after removing the proportionality sign, for removing the proportionality sign, we are multiplying it with a constant R. That constant R is known as resistance. Okay, this constant R is known as resistance. Unit of resistance is O. Representation is like this. Okay, so if I am representing one equation for R, R equals V by I. So from this equation, what we are getting as for a constant potential, if a constant potential difference is applying between the ends of a conductor, if we are increasing current, what will happen? Resistance will decrease. Okay, so all we can say resistance is will be as resistance increases, current will decrease. So in last class also we learned the, in the same way. So how we can define this resistance? Next is how we can define resistance. So which is obstructing the flow of charges or electric current. That hindrance is known as resistance. Resistance is the hindrance of electric. It is the property in which, which is giving a hindrance for the electric current. It is a property of the conductor to resist the flow of current. Okay. It is the property of conductor to resist the current that is called a resistance. This is how we can define resistance. It is the property of a conductor to resist the current. That means if we don't want that much of current then we can apply resistance. If we are applying more resistance, our current, output of current will be less. If resistance is more, current flowing through the conductor will be less. If resistance is less, current flowing through the conductor will be more. Now you understood what is the use of resistance. So resistance will be uh, that's, uh, stopping the flow of current. Okay, it is also, it is stopping means whether it is bad 
No, it's not like that if it is always bad. Okay, so it is the property of a conductor to resist the flow of current. Resist the current that is called as resistance. So resistance means if resistance increases, current also current will decrease. If resistance decreases, current will increase. So here in this B is proportional. So understood all of you? How we will define resistance and what is the unit of resistance? That many things clear for you? Okay. So this resistance, when resistance is increasing, now this we know. See, in uh, heating will be very less, and if I'm uh, in electrical appliances, isn't it? So very a uh, little bit higher end uh, models if we are buying electrical appliances, then the heat energy will be less in those instruments. Isn't it? See, I am taking an incandescent bulb, normal bulb. No? No. So that bulb if I am taking and uh, it is glowing for 10 minutes. And the uh, uh, same voltage uh, that uh, another bulb, LED bulb is glowing for 10 minutes in another uh, light. So what, the, what will be the heating difference in both the bulbs? Our uh, difference will be the heating effect will be more in incandescent bulb and less in the LED bulbs. Isn't it? And regulator also. Olden times regulator, you know or not, I don't know. See, in when my, in my childhood and all, and like box type uh, regulators were there, fan regulators. So that you know, if we are working a uh, fan for one hour or uh, uh, half an hour, this uh, that will get heated. But this today nowadays it's more resistant as uh, regulators will be there, isn't it? So that regulators won't heat up that much, isn't it? Why? Because the amount of resistance will be less there. If resistance is less, the uh, resistance is less means more current can do. All the current which is flowing through the circuit can reach to the other end, isn't it? So the heating effect will be less over there. So current is the resistance is restricting the current to flow through the conductor. Okay, if the current is flowing through the conductor and resistance is more, what will happen? Resistance is restricting the current flowing through the conductor. If it is restricting, what will happen? See, uh, that, that energy, electrical energy will be converting it as heat energy. Okay, that heat energy will be, uh, uh, that, is, that is why our bulbs and all will be heated up very fast. Okay, so, uh, so in this, uh, that is uh, that heating effect in many cases we have we, we are utilizing also it, is, it has advantages also disadvantages also okay where we need uh, heating so there we will be using higher uh, resistance values we will be using okay so resistance is the property of a conductor to resist the current the resistance will be resisting the current or uh, stopping the current. It can't completely stop. Sometimes if resistance is very much high, then current will also will be high. Okay, if resistance is very low, current also will be, you know, the current will be more. Okay, so understood now? So Ohm's law is from Ohm's law we wrote it as V is proportional to I that is V equals I into R where R is the resistance unit of resistance is Ohm then it is representation is like this okay R is equal to V by I so R will be increase if R increases what will happen to current current will decrease if R decreases current will be increasing. So it is the property of a conductor to resist the flow of current. Clear now? What is meant by resistance? So in last video I forgot to tell you about the uh, graphical representation of Ohm's law. Okay. So next is how we can graphically represent Ohm's law. Graphical representation of Ohm's law. Ohm's law, how we can represent graphically. Okay, so x axis, y axis, I and V. V I graph, it is the V I graph. So V is proportional to I. That means as I increases, 
V also V increases, I also will increase. Isn't it? V decreases, I also will decrease. So it will be a straight line graph like this. Okay, clear now? So the graph will be a straight line with the slope. Okay, so this is the graphical representation of Ohm's law. It will be a straight line with the slope. Okay, understood this? The notice when by the graphic, what is the graphical representation of Ohm's law clear for you? V is proportional to I. That is the mathematical expression for Ohm's law. So that one graphically we can represent it as it will be a straight line inclined to the I axis or V axis. Okay. Now, what is the use of this graphical representation? From this, we can find out the resistance of the conductor. If we are getting a graph from an experiment, if we are getting a graph like this, V is proportional to I, we can find out the resistance of the conductor. Resistance of the conductor, we can find out by this method. So, how we can find out the resistance of the conductor? Resistance can be found out by taking slope of velocity current graph. Okay, slope of the velocity VI graph will give you the resistance. Okay, so how we can find out the resistance of a conductor? Slope of velocity current graph, sorry, potential and current graph. V is potential here. Okay. Not velocity. Potential. Potential and current. Okay. So the slope of that graph will give you resistance. Clear now? So how we can notice the use of this VI graph in Ohm's law? We can find out the resistance of the conductor. How we can find out the resistance? By finding out the slope of the conductor. Okay. Now how we can find out the slope? For finding out the slope, what is the, that is the mathematical expression? Maybe you would have studied in small classes also in mathematics. So, B and I. This is the graph. So, here in any two points, you can consider a triangle. A, B, C. Okay? See, then C part and marking it here, that is V2. Okay? This A part also, these are the A and C are the graph points. Okay? So, this is the, in graph second point it is and A is the first point. So, I am marking it as V1. Okay? So, in the, in the triangle ABC, which and all points are touching the graph A and C? So, where, where is, what is the A coordinate? Coordinate A, how we can represent? It will be V1 and this will be I1. Coordinate C, how I can represent? This is V2 and this is I2. Okay, then slope will be equal to V2 minus V1 divided by I2 minus I1. That is resistance of the conductor. Clear now? So what is resistance of the, how we can find out resistance of the conductor? Resistance of the conductor we can find out from this slope of VI graph. Slope of VI graph will give you resistance. How we can find out resistance? Slope of VI graph will give you resistance. That is V2 minus V1 divided by I2 minus I1. If you are calculating this, you will get resistance. Clear now this graphical method? Okay, fine. So that's all for today. Uh, so usually my videos will be uh, around 20-25 minutes. It will be. So uh, viewers, this is viewers opinion. Yes, considering viewers opinion. And um, cut, cutting short my five, that length of the video as 10 to 15 minutes. Because children, not small children, in 10th standard students, for me, they are small only. So, uh, they don't want to sit for a long time with the mobile or those things. And they are considering that, let's uh, say, every day you are seeing, right? So, it's okay. If this much, if you are thorough means, 
and happy. Okay, fine. So, if you like the video, please subscribe and share. And your doubts, I am expecting in the comment box. Thank you.